Hello everyone, this is Reggie, the washer dryer repair nerd, uh, coming to you with a repair on a LG door switch, um, or any door switch you have, I think Samsung may have the same one, that looks like this. Uh, if you're getting a DE code, in addition to when you hit the start button, it clicks twice, click, click, and it shows DE, it's your door switch. And I'm going to show you how to actually repair the door switch instead of having to order on eBay or... Uh, try to go to your local parts store and just want to introduce our mascot here that's blue say hello blue so that's our mascot blue now uh, let me show you how to repair this door switch for you now the door switches are pretty cheap uh, probably like twenty dollars on ebay uh, if you go to your parts store it might be thirty forty dollars but if you don't have time for that um, you know mama wants to, to, to start washing washing clothes I'm gonna show you how to repair your door switch. So first thing, first thing you do is take the door switch off. So all you need is a screwdriver. This comes straight off. Yeah, and be careful with your contacts here. Now I've already this is like my third take, so I've actually already repaired this, but I'm going through it with you again. What'll happen? Right now it's being stubborn. See, Blue's already giving me instructions. Now what happened is this little piece here, if it's not contacting uh, this contact here, typically it's gonna, if it's a failed door switch, this part will just be down and will have no bounce whatsoever. How you repair that is first thing you do is remove this contact. Then remove this contact. It's, it's in the groove of this little black piece here. Pop it out, rebend it back, because basically that, that part just um, gets worn down. Um, also, if this is have a lot of soot or uh, soot on it, you can also get a little piece of sandpaper and sand that down, uh, so you have a very so you have good contacts. Um, so you put this back in here, replace this. Now. If you have a voltmeter, it's not necessary, but it might save you some time. You can check for continuity. Once you have continuity, that means they actually are contacting each other. You put this back on. Yep. Try to look through the camera and look at this. All right, you put this back on, and you're ready to go. So you reinstall this back in your machine. Now, if you don't know how to get this off, uh, basically, you just take the lid off the top of your washer, and when you open the door, there's two screws right uh, by the, the switch, and you just unscrew that, reach in, and just pull it right out, unplug it and pull it out. Uh, if your machines are stacked on top of each other, you can actually remove the tub seal and reach in there with your hand and get it out that way, too. Um, so any, any questions, feel free to leave below, questions, comments. Uh, I usually respond within 24 hours. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for your time. And say bye, Blue.